Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolyn. If you're new here, I have already posted a few videos on this channel, but today I thought I would do the kind of tried and true tradition of booktube and answer the booktube newbie tag questions. So let's get started. The first question is why did I start this channel? Um, I think I started for a lot of reasons. Like I said in like that 50 second intro clip, the first video I posted, um, I love watching booktube videos, I love reading, I've recently gotten back into reading, just kind of being home and not much else to do, I've really fallen in love with books again. Um, and also I just really love the bookish community, I think the people that I follow on booktube, I'm always looking for more, um, but the people that I follow on booktube, I really love their content, I love the conversations about books, I'm always learning about new books, and I really love recommending books and also getting books recommended that maybe I've never heard of. Um, so yeah, I started it for a lot of reasons, but also I'm home, like I said, I graduated from school and I'm always looking for new hobbies to kind of fill my time and I thought that this would be a really fun thing to do, a really fun new hobby. Um, question number two, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? Um, so I'm not trying to be like completely inventive in any way, I'm really just here kind of add my voice to the conversations. I think some people are so creative on YouTube, specifically like Fictional Fates, Books and Lala. Those are two people that I think are like so fun on their channel, are always coming up with new concepts. Um, so I love videos like that, but also I just love hearing about books and talking about books. So I don't think I'm going to be like anything new. Um, I think people are already out there doing a great job of everything, but I'm just excited to be a part of it. Um, so yeah, nothing brand new here, but I'll just try it my best to make it really fun. Um, question three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, like I said, I'm just really excited for like a new hobby, and I'm also really excited to read more. I think in 2020, I'd only really started reading for fun again in like May after I had graduated, and then I kind of got into the swing of it again. I think for this channel I'm just really excited to make videos and to kind of learn more about that because I've never really made videos before so I think that's going to be kind of an interesting challenge. But I'm also just really excited about talking about books, about like hearing anyone's recommendations for me and just kind of talking about the books that I love and why I love them. I'm really excited to expand my own reading horizons and kind of learn more about other genres that I don't traditionally read or that I just have never picked up a book from before. So I think that's what I'm really excited about is just to kind of expand the types of books that I want to read um, and that I'm interested in and just kind of hear amazing recommendations but also talk about books that I've loved and hope that maybe other people would want to pick them up as well. Um, question four, why do you love reading? Um, this is an interesting question. Um, I think reading has always been like a big part of my family, specifically through my mom. I kind of mentioned in that like 50 second video, my mom's an English teacher, and really tried to get all three of uh, me and my siblings into reading. Like growing up, she had this rule of like you have to read one hour a day or like you can't watch TV, you can't do anything unless you read that one hour. Um, and my sister I think was very diligent in that task. She would go up and like read her little books, take notes and be you know, perfect daughter, and I think that I would really fake it a lot of the times just because I didn't like that I was being told to do it. <laughs> um, like I was saying to my mom actually a few days ago is the Hunger Games trilogy. I actually think I only read the Hunger Games and I didn't read the second two. I think I actually came up to my room and faked it every day. Um, I would just like ask somebody or like read the first pages of every chapter to see what it was about and go down and give my mom that little spiel so she would believe me that I actually read it. So that could be a series that I could add to my um, series that I want to read in 2021 because that's like so messed up that I did that. So my house is absolutely full of books. My mom loves reading. Um, but I think for me, just kind of getting back into it since I've graduated and being home again, I think it's just been like such a fun thing to do to get off my phone and to kind of pick up books that I'm so excited about um, from all different genres and just kind of like have a new activity and a new hobby that like really expands my mind and books that challenge me versus books that comfort me and kind of, you know, always just having a lot of fun with it. Five, what book or series got you into reading initially? I've always kind of been a comfort reader and instead of reading all new books, I would tend to kind of read the same books over and over again. Like I said, I kind of reread my Harry Potter series every so often. Um, so I think that was kind of a series that got me into reading, but then a few more books that I kind of like read over and over again as a kid were um, Ferris, I have a few up there, When It Happens, I mean of course Judy Bloom. I read like Are You There, God It's Me, Margaret, probably 15 or 20 times. 
And then, yeah, the Little Women and Harry Potter are the books that I kind of always return to. But this past year, or in May, when I kind of got into reading again, the first series that kind of like absolutely blew my mind and really got me hooked on reading again was Hilary, Hilary Mantel's Wolf Hall series that kind of like absolutely got me into reading again, this like more recently at least. Um, oh, six, this is a fun one. Um, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? One question that I would ask, I actually saw Rachel from Shipwreck, Shipwrecked Library and um, Steph by Parks of Steph talking about it both on their channel and kind of recent videos, I'll link them below, is that they were both talking about the kind of hype around new releases or really popular books on booktube and I'm kind of interested in asking them and other people, other booktubers, like how they kind of balance new releases and really hyped popular books and kind of the feeling of being required or expected to read those books and talk about them versus books that you're just excited about. Um, because I think so much of my TBR taking, because I had taken so many years off not really reading, maybe reading like one or two books a year, so many books on my TBR are backlist titles and those are kind of the books that I'm really most excited about. So kind of finding the balance between new releases and really popular books and kind of books that are backlisted that maybe no one's talking about at the moment but kind of just reading them because I really want to and how booktubers kind of balance that. Um, and I guess then like a more fun question I would ask them would be their f absolute favorite edition of their favorite book or maybe their favorite book cover or their favorite series and the favorite edition of that series because I, I love when booktubers talk about that yes they are readers and they of course you can go to the library and everything but that there's also people that like want to own all their books and they're book collectors and I feel like I'm somebody more in that vein that they can be absolutely falling apart covers falling apart pages and they could be, you know, I got them $2 on secondsale.com but I really want to own all the books I read. Um, not to spend a ton of money but just to have them. Um, so I guess I would ask them like their favorite edition and their most prized copy of, their, of a book. Um, number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Um, for me, I think it's more of like the logistical aspects of booktube, hoping that like I stay consistent with it, but also, I, like I said before, I'm not really somebody who makes videos. This is a, a first for me. I think like the last time I made videos was in sixth grade making music videos with my friends. So I have kept my boyfriend on speed dial and asking him a lot of questions about like editing and even just how to upload stuff. But now that I've done a few videos, I think I am kind of slowly learning. So I think really just the logistical stuff of just figuring out how to make videos and also making them fun and adding like, you know, just fun stuff to them to make them interesting, exciting, and kind of like artistic. So that will be a learning curve, I think. Okay, number eight, when did I start reading? So like I said, um, we were always kind of had books around us as kids, but I think reading on my own, I, I definitely listened to a lot of books from my mom reading them, but then when it was kind of like up to me to read on my own, I think I just kind of read the same books over and over again. So I think in elementary school I was reading, but it wasn't like a favorite activity of mine. And it definitely was kind of spaced out. And it was more of an expectation rather than something that I just kind of looked forward to and wanted to do. Um, but I always kind of had books. And I think like I read all the Twilight series in like middle school or whatever when they came out. I read all the Harry Potters. I read the Divergent series. I fake read Hunger Games. Like all like the big popular movies that kind of had their own moment in Hollywood, like I definitely read all of those um, as a, like a preteen or teenager and then like I said being home since I graduated school is when I really kind of started reading again just because I love it and just for fun. Okay, number nine, where do you read? Um, I actually, I'm so grateful for my parents, we actually just kind of painted my entire room and redid it to kind of make it more of a grown-up room because it was like bright pink and had all like my posters everywhere and I absolutely destroyed my walls with thumbtacks and holes and like completely ripped off so much of the of the wall with postcards and stuff so we just got my room repainted um, a color that I like a little bit more and kind of made it more of an adult room so I really do read mostly in my bed um, I just kind of think my room is so cozy now and I love my bed and I love my little light Having like tea or coffee is like my favorite place to read now. Um, and then lastly, what kind of books do you like to read? Um, so I'm not opposed to anything. I think whatever sounds interesting, I'm going to read that. But I think mostly I love sci-fi books. Um, I love specific kinds of historical fiction. Like I said, Wolf Hall was probably one of the best books, best series I've ever read. I mean, I think about that book still like almost every day. But I love more book historical fiction, more like Wolf Hall, less like the Alice Network. If you kind of know what I mean, so if you have any recommendations that are more in that vein, 
please let me know because I'm always looking for historical fiction, but I like a very specific type of historical fiction. Um, and then I really love just kind of general fiction, literary fiction, and I think I've kind of realized over the past year and even the past few months is that I really love books with magical realism, and obviously that's like a huge spectrum of types of books, but like a lot of my favorite books from 2020, Toni Morrison's Beloved, Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer, Bunny by Mona Awad, all have magical realism, like that aspect of the inexplicable or the fantastical. Obviously all those books are like completely different, but I really love books that have a more tangible environment and real characters that you can kind of connect to, but then that aspect of like the inexplicable or the bizarre, and that's really things that I love, so I'm always looking for new books like that. Um, yeah, and then actually, like I said in that video that I posted about series I want to read this year, I really do want to kind of get into adult fantasy. It's a genre I really haven't read anything from, I don't think. Um, so I want to read The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I really want to read the Poppy War series, kind of a whole new genre for me, so I'm excited to read more of that. But I would say most of the things I read are sci-fi, a little bit of historical fiction, and then just general literary fiction are kind of like my tops. Um, but again, I'm not opposed to anything. I, I think that I read the least amount of like romance. I don't really read YA at all. Um, and then I read like barely any memoirs. But again, whatever sounds interesting to me, I'm going to read it. Um, okay, so those are all the questions of the newbie book tag. I hope that helped you get to know me and my tastes. Um, I'm really excited for this channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And feel free to subscribe. Bye, everyone.